In this video, we're going to talk about alignment and profile label sets, how to edit and create new ones, and also how to implement them into the drawing and change the ones that have already been selected for the drawing. So in order to talk about the label sets, what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate to the settings tab. Uh, we're going to go to first the alignments and then go to the label styles and then go to the label sets. I'm going to go ahead and edit the all labels, but you can also always right click on label sets and create new. I'm going to start with all labels because it'll have every piece of information that we have available to us inside of a label set for alignments. So I'm going to right click and choose edit. And inside of here, what you have is the information tab with the name and the description of what the label set is. And then you have the labels tab. And inside of the labels tab, you have the all the different types that you can choose. So we have major stations, minor stations, geometry points, station equations, design speeds, profile geometry points, super elevation critical points, and cant critical points. And with each one of these, if you were to select it, you could also select the label style associated with it. With these label styles, you can edit every single one of the label styles associated with a type that you're going to select for your label set and then get it to display exactly how you want it to be in your drawing using the same methods that we've used for all other labels inside of Civil 3D. You can edit current selection or you can create a new one. And inside of the edit or creating a new one, you can go to the general tab for all the general standard text information, the layout tab for how it's going to display on the drawing, and then a, a drag state method for if you create a drag state of the label. And then you can click OK or apply it depending on if you're creating a new one or not. And then once you set up each individual type and their label style, what you need to do is you have to then add it to the label set. So inside of the label set, it's a list of all of the label types that are going to be applied to your alignment. And then with the exception of the, the items below, major stations and minor stations, you also get to choose the increment at which they show up. The other ones have set locations that they need to show up. So it's not an incremental placement of them. Um, and then, so once you've created a new version of an alignment label set that you may want to import into your drawing and use on an existing alignment that you've already placed, you would go ahead and hit OK so that you can accept your new label set. And then to go put it into effect in the drawing, you would go ahead and select the label set that is currently placed on your alignment you would go up to edit label group. And then inside of here, you're dealing with your alignment labels for your devil line. And so if you wanted to modify, you could modify the ones that are currently being applied, or you can import a whole label set. So if I went to do this and said import label set, I could drop down, select a new label set, import it into this window here, and all those labels would populate and remove the old ones that were in here before. If I created a special label set for this alignment and I don't have it saved off over here into my settings, I can also save my label set and then have it transported over into my settings tab and be as a saved label set for use later. Similarly, if we move along to profiles, and we go drop down into profiles, drop down into label styles, and drop down into label sets. If I go to the completed label set, I could modify this one or I can create a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and modify the existing one that I have here so that we can talk about the different types of labels and the different styles of labels that we can add. So we have, again, major stations, minor stations. We now have horizontal geometry points, lines, grade breaks, crest curves, and sag curves. And so inside of here, what you can do is then once you've selected your type, you select your style again, and you can edit it to make it look exactly as you want to have it. And then once you've set up your type and your style, you can hit add and add it into your label set. And then again, once you've set up your label set, you can hit apply it or OK to accept those changes or to set that new label set up. And then in the drawing, if you want to go to your label set for your profile, you select it, you go to edit label group, and then you can import your label set, or if you've created the label set inside this window for your profile labels dev profile, you can save that label set back out to your settings tab and have it in your settings for your label sets.